Lindy Ruff is going back to where it all began for him as a coach. He has been hired by the Buffalo Sabres to begin coaching for them next year. Uh, he didn't have to wait long to get a new hire, and I think it's a good hire for the Sabres, but we'll get into it. Uh, he, as mentioned, as I bring up his hockey reference page here, it's, it's not his first time with Buffalo. The majority of his time coaching has been with the Sabres, actually over half way over half he's coached over a thousand games with the Sabres before he won 571 of them and was in the playoffs uh four six eight years uh in his time there including uh eastern conference champions in 1998 and 99 um his first two years he actually went uh 24 and 12 as a uh in the playoffs with the Sabres uh, before the Sabres kind of went through a bit of identity crisis and uh, the team kind of fell apart and Ruff was fired in 2012-2013 during that season in which he, they, he began the year with them 6-10-1. and one. Uh, Since his very long tenure as, as with the Sabres and very long financial coach especially, uh, he coached for five years with the Stars uh, before most most recently having four years of uh, see, four seasons I should say uh, behind the bench for the Devils where they made the playoffs once uh, again I think this is a good hire and before you can say oh it's a nostalgia hire maybe but the Kevin Adams I believe is the name of the Buffalo GM wanted to emphasize that this was not a nostalgia hire this was a hire out of what's best for the team uh, I don't think Donato was bad for the Sabres, but it's clear that at this point something wasn't working, something needed a change. Um, it didn't matter if the Sabres liked the coach or not, or if he was a good coach. It's just you need results, and uh, you need a wake-up call or a new voice sometimes. And Lindy Ruff has been a very good uh, voice for young players, most recently with the New Jersey Devils, where he's helped turn this uh, team coming out of a rebuild into what should be a playoff contender, including a dominant 52-22-8 and eight record uh, last year. This year he was had a bit more disappointing record, but still on the positive side in terms of points, 30-27-4. and four. Uh, He was fired in the Devils' hopes of getting into the playoffs again. They missed the playoffs anyways. I don't think it was a good fire by for the Devils. I think it was a little hasty. The Devils are still young, so it's not like they should be considered playoff contenders quite yet. But a lot of people do consider them to be playoff contenders because of Lindy Ruff. Um, and, and because of the great talent on that team, I don't want to take away from that either. Uh, Buffalo is in a similar spot. They are trying to get to the playoffs for the first time uh, with a lot of young players and a newly rebuilt core, uh, which is pretty much the same situation uh, New Jersey was in when they hired Lindy Ruff. And a Again, in his third year, he turned a, a bottom-tier team into uh, the second-best team uh, I don't, in the conference, I believe. It says second here, and I not I'm, I don't think it was second in the league. But 52-22-8 is very good. Um, and they won a playoff round, too. In their first time in the playoffs in quite a while, they won a playoff series against the New York Rangers. They're great rivals before... Uh, bowing out in uh, in yeah five games, uh, so I think this is a great hire for the Buffalo Sabers, and it's a bonus that uh, he he's been a Sabers coach before and is well known by Sabers fans, and I I hope well loved for his and their sake. And I I like a lot of the Sabers players, and I think it'd be good to see them in the playoffs again for the first time since the seventeen hundreds, I think could be wrong uh obviously exaggerating they used to be a pretty good playoff team uh last time they were in the playoffs a lot was under lindy ruff um they haven't made the playoffs since lindy ruff i i don't think yeah no they they haven't correct me if i'm wrong but i nope nope they haven't so that would be kind of interesting if they bring back Lindy Ruff and it's the first time they've been in the playoffs next year. It'll be the first time they've been in the playoffs since Lindy Ruff. If that happens, maybe the experiment goes wrong. But historically, I, Lindy Ruff's been good in these scenarios and good for the Sabres. Um, 
another coaching candidate I thought would get hired was Jay Woodcroft. Uh, obviously, I quite liked him for his time with the Oilers. And he proved to be very good in putting young guys in the right position to succeed and get better. That was absolutely the case in Edmonton, as I can attest to, watching them and seeing a lot of these guys grow. So I think he would have been a good hire for Buffalo as well. But I, I like the hire for the Neuroff quite a bit. Uh, please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, please leave a like as well. I would greatly appreciate that. You, you can leave a dislike if you'd rather, but wish you didn't. Uh, I'd also appreciate it if you subscribe and turn on notifications. Uh, there's lots more videos and analysis to get into, especially with the playoffs here and coming. It's the best time of the year. Uh, thanks again, and I'll see you when I see you next.